Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. It's Hoverboard FAQ here. Uh, I'm doing a new video series where I'm basically going one by one through every part contained within a hoverboard, showing you the part, explaining what it is, telling you where you can get it, how the parts interact together, how to fix boards, etc. So what we're looking at here is a wheel motor. Um, I haven't opened this up in previous videos. I have opened up the wheel motor to show you what's inside. It's basically a bunch of coiled copper. Um, and then there's a little kind of half moon bar and that's basically what controls the degree of tilt. Uh, let me see if I have one of these brackets and show you kind of how this uh, sits in the board. So as you can see here, there's a flat square bracket and I don't know if you can tell that part of this is rounded and part of it is, is uh, flattened off. So basically this is how it's held in your board. This screws right into the frame and that's kind of what holds it in place. Um, this connects to your motherboard and these also connect to the motherboard. Let me grab a motherboard. So um, how these connect, we've got a motherboard right here. You'll see you got these three little I don't know, green doodle things. Uh, basically make sure the colors coordinate. So green to green, yellow to yellow, blue to blue. Um, this part is also gonna clip in. I believe that's the power. Um, gonna clip in there. I don't know if you can hear that click. Um, but these attach to the motherboard. The motherboard is also gonna have, where's the second one connect? Oh, I'm sorry, so the wheel that's closest to the motherboard will connect to the shorter parts. The This one is actually gonna get, uh, actually both these parts, These thing, the long cords are gonna get threaded through the center of the frame to the other side, and then they're gonna connect to the other wheel, which has the same connections. Uh, this is not only your wheel, it's also the motor. Like I said, if I were to take these screws off and take this off, you could see the motor contained within the wheel. Um, I actually have another video where I do take the cover off and show you, so if you want to go to my channel, uh, search hoverboard wheel, and you should find a video. I have the case removed and I show you what's inside for any of you guys that are interested in that. Uh, this here is a 350 watt wheel, so that means it goes to a 700 watt board. You'll find boards anywhere from 500 watts, which would be each wheel is 250, 700 watts, each wheel is 350, and then occasionally you'll find 900,000. Typically those are gonna be in the eight inch and the 10 inch boards, but there are some 6.5 inch boards, I think that have 900,000 uh, watt motors. Uh, this is what they refer to as a star wheel. Um, if it doesn't have that star in the middle, they typically call it a flower wheel, if you're wondering about that. Um, I guess there's not too much else we can say. Wheel motors do go bad. If I had to list like the most common hoverboard parts to go bad, I would probably say gyroscope, uh, charging port, and I don't think the charging ports go bad on their own. I think typically what happens is the board is plugged into the wall and someone runs by and trips on the cord and basically gets the the charging port or the charger jammed into the charging port. I think that's how those go bad. Gyroscopes go out on their own. Motherboards are a fairly common part to go bad. And I would say one of the more common parts is a wheel motor. Uh, if your board isn't moving when you step on it and you've already you know made sure there's no loose wire connections, uh, put in new gyroscopes, and it's still not working, there's a good chance it's a wheel motor. So this is a wheel motor. This is what it's like. It's fairly heavy. Um, you can find these. I've seen them as cheap as like 50 bucks on AliExpress if you don't mind waiting for it to come like three weeks. You can find them on eBay and Amazon for probably anywhere from 50 to $120. Uh, hoverboard parts do seem to be coming down in price. I know at first like a wheel motor you pay like 150 bucks for, so you can get it for about a third of the price if you really shop around. Um, I forget if I mentioned this already, but I was given all these free parts to make these demonstration videos by HoverboardScooterParts.com. If you sell hoverboards or hoverboard parts or anything else and you want me to, to feature it or review it on this channel, uh, feel free to contact me. You can shoot me an email at HoverboardFAQ at gmail.com or you can just direct message me through YouTube um, or even leave a comment and you know just tell me what, what it is you sell, what you want me to feature and uh, I, I can have you send it in to me. I'd be happy to make a video kind of showing it off. But this is a hoverboard wheel and wheel motor. Um, if you guys have any questions about this or anything, leave a comment below. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, just to the bottom left of this video, click that subscribe button. You'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. If you uh, have friends interested in hoverboards, please share this video with them. Give, them a th give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, check back. I'm doing a whole series where we're going to be running through all the parts on a hoverboard. So thanks for watching, guys. And we'll check you out in the next video.